Okay, good morning. So we are up to uh, Simon Reish Tezayin Halach uh, Yud Beis. Let's finish off. Uh, not much left of this Simon, and then Mr. Shem will start the next Simon. Okay. So Yud Beis Mevarchin Al Hamugmar. Now, what is Mugmar? Pirush Besamim Shemasim Al Gecholim. Back in the day, uh, you would take some Besamim and you would put them on the coals. La Riach Bemer. It would give a nice smell. Yeah, yeah, or or lahavdol elef avdolus kteris. Yeah, the kteris is the same thing. You're putting on coals. Yeah, mishiyale kitur ashana kaidem mishiyagilerech. So you put the you put the mugmar mugmar is you put the besomim on top of the on top of the gecholim to have a nice smell. So when do you make you make a brach on that mavarchin ala mugmar. But when do you make the brach? Mishiyale kitur ashana kaidem mishiyagil loyharech. You can already make the bracha when the sort of the, the sort of the smoke comes out before you can actually even smell it. But don't make the bracha too early before the smoke has actually sort of emerged from placing it on it. Okay, says Mishnah Bura Memvov, Lo Riach Bohem, La Fukim im Ma'ashen Bishvil Levat Hasirchen, which we've spoken before, Ainovarchan the Lov Klaut. If you're making a nice smell in order just to get rid of a bad odor, then we don't make a bracha. But here, yeah, but here we're doing it just to have a geschmack smell. So therefore, you make a bracha. When do you make the bracha? You make the bracha as soon as the kitar, the oshan, comes up from the from the coals, uh, even before you can smell it. Why? Like any other bracha, you need the overlasiyosan. So you hold the coffee, you make the bracha, you drink the coffee, whatever it may be. So to over here, you you put the spices on the coals. You make the and the ash and the, the smoke comes up before you even smell it. You make the brach and then oh, you smell it. Koydim shiagia the boin and lechatchil over las yosun. But the eved yochel levorich af b'shash merech. But the eved even though maybe you already can start smelling it, you can still make the brach. Avol loy not to do it before the smoke has even sort of emerged from the coals. Why? The somach las yosun I call upon him. You need something of somach las yosun. It can't be too much away from when you actually get the Hanah. However, so long as there's no, um, there's, no too, there's no big gap in between, then that would be okay. If you make the brach and the smoke hasn't yet come up, you should have waited for the smoke to come up, but even still, if there's no big gap in between, you're okay. All right, Yud Gimel. Hamugmar. What, what brach would you actually make? So, so says the Mechaba, Im who shall eat, if it's made out of wood, Mavarech Bore, Atse Besomim. The Im shall Esev, Bore, Isve Besomim. The Im shall Shah Minim, Bore, Mine Besomim. So, you know, as we've seen all along. Says the Mishnah Burr Memtes, Bore, Atse Besomim. For Lo Nishtan and Birchosoi, Afa Pishan Israfali de Ha Gimur. Uh, you don't change, it doesn't change the bracha. So you don't say that the strafe is destroying it. On the contrary, that's how you do it. Uh, so he explains. It's soft, no doggish. That's the primer gun. So isve. Good. Okay. You dalit. Now this is interesting. What a, smelling your esrog on sukkas. Allowed, muta, osa. Yeah, so what's the story? So it says in the Mechaba, HaMeriach Be'esrug Shel Mitzvah Mevarech Olov. If you smell your Esrug, the i.e. on Sukkot, the Esrug Shel Mitzvah, you make a bracha. V'yesh Emrim She'ein Mevarech. And there are other opinions, you don't make a bracha. Lokach Nochin She'lei Larechme. Therefore, it's best to avoid the doubt and not to smell it. We'll see the Mishnah in a second. Yesh Emrim Demeriach Be'pascham. Uh, some say you can make a bracha on warm bread. You go into a bakery and it's a geschmacker smell of warm bread. Yesh le levarech she nosan reach toiv bepas. Special bracha. What? Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Ve yesh emrim de ein levarech alav. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patience, patience, Yossi. Ve yesh emrim de ein levarech alav. Lekach ein la reach. And therefore, le maskon de ein la reach boy. Says the Mishnah Baruch. Someone who smells his esrog. We're not talking about where you take your esrog out of your, um, your, your, you know, your, the box or whatever, 
and your base shaking in the oven, derech agav, you're smelling it. It's a bezel kula alma ein levarech. Because in that, in that situation, kula alma ein levarech, everyone agrees you don't make a bracha when it's just that way. Why? There, your kavon is not to smell the esrug. In other words, you're just taking it out to shake the little esrug. And derech agav, it smells nice, okay, but that's not your kavon, and therefore you for sure you don't make a bracha in that situation. Ella, ayri kagon shenot lo seis loriach. You have in mind both, i.e., to be yoked to the mitzvah of Arba Minim and to smell a Geshemaka Esrug. To Bechiyah Gavna Paskin and Leel, because as we said previously, the Mavarech al Achille Valarech, previously we said, you can make, if you've got a nice fruit which is very strong smelling and you want to make a brocha on Achille and on the nice smell, you can do that. Vesoiver, Deir Rishain, Adu Adim Bazem, the Varech on the Tilz Esrug Valarech. And therefore, the first opinion in the Machaba is, you can make a brocha on the Esrug. On the mitzvah of shaking the lulav and esrog, va'al harech and on the smell. V'yesh omrim she'ein mavarech. However, the second opinion is you don't make a bracha. The lav the rech avida because it's not really primarily there for the smell. Kivan shehu shel mitzvah because it's primarily there for the mitzvah. Says says the footnote thirty eight. When we come back from la rech by muta, the bir halacha does conclude that it's muta if you want to. If you want to um, make you know smell it, you're allowed to. For cost of carrying on the mission bureau, for cost of Morgan Avram Bashem Marshal, the Dafka Bashas Nati Los of Mitzvah. Now, we're talking specifically where at the time when you are taking the Lulav Nesrug at the time of the Mitzvah. But if you want to, you know, you've sh- you, come, you come from Shul on Yontav, on, on Yontav, on whatever Yontav for Cholamoid, and, you know, let's say you're taking the Lulav Nesrug out for others to shake, or you just want to smell it afterwards when you get home. Then um, you do make a bracha of Yesh Shecholkim Bezev Ayim Bebe Halacha. So if you look at, uh, he says, if you look at the Be Halacha, the, the last three lines of the Be Halacha, can you see it's a long Be Halacha? I'm at the, where it says Al Kain. Yeah? Al Kain Nira, Do Ika Kia Morgan Avram Ladina. The Halacha is like the Be Halacha. That the rest of the Yontov, if you want to smell it, you make a bracha. Since many are machmir, that one should try and avoid smelling it over Sukkot, uh, to, to just to, to conform with those who are machmir. If you're sort of you know, touching esrogim and then you can smell it on your hands or on your clothes or on the cloth or in the box, then everyone agrees you don't make a bracha. Because that's not the primary source. So just to summarize, when it comes to the esrog on, on, on sukkus, if, you ta- if as you take it out of the box, it's a nice smell, then you don't make a bracha because your focus is really to be to the mitzvah and the tzitzit and that's derech agav and therefore you don't make yeah and therefore it's not uh, that would not make a bracha if however according to the first opinion of the mechaba you take it out lot says v'lahariach then you would make a bracha okay according to the second opinion you don't and therefore the mechaba says nochen shelo lahariach boy however it is muta to do if you want to and the uh, mishnah bura is uh, machria the the the, the, the bir halacha sorry is machria. That, uh, th- that you can make a bracha, but it's best to avoid uh, that issue, and therefore best to avoid smelling it, to uh, avoid the, the, the well, homochlegas. Well, then uh, Yeah, yeah, that's not to be an idea. Yeah, if it's before, yeah, before sukkahs for sure. Yeah, because then you're not doing the shei mitzvah. Yeah. Okay, now, um, let the... The love, the... Re- yeah, okay. Okay, let's take a look at let's carry a mission bar nun gimel. Locha and lokach nochin. So therefore he says, Nochin Shalila Riachboy, Kade lots is midday sophic bracha. Because if there's a sophic, do I or don't I, sophic bracha is lahaka, and therefore it's best to avoid it. The imme riachboy, and if you do smell it, that's more of Rob Shalivorich, Vikin Dasa Grob of Yure. And if you do, then the best to avoid making the bracha on the smell, uh, just to, to avoid any uh, the, that's the sophic bracha zakula. Okay. Now then, uh, Nun Dalad is talking about the pas. Yes. So the Ramos says, what if you smell nice warm bread? So the first opinion is you make a bracha she nosen reach tov the pas, and then yesh oim de ein levarich. Says the Mishabur Nun Dalad, yesh le levarich kamoi b'shap hirsha oim dim lachila v'yesh lam reach. Like any other food which has got a nice smell, 
שמבורך עליהם כשנוטו לצום כדי לירח בהם, ויש היום דאין לבורך. דאין זה ריח חושב שירוי לבורך עליו, it's not, you know, the primary purpose of the bread is to eat it, and it's not sufficiently important to make a smell on it, and therefore because of this, these two opinions, לקח, uh, the remark concludes, אין לא ריח בי, ואם מי ריח אין מבורך עליו, and you do smell it, then אין מי ריח עליו. Then you should not make a uh, bracha on it. Okay, so just generally speaking, trying to avoid smelling the esrog of a sukkah, that is the eighth of the bialocha. And in terms of uh, smelling nice bread, um, different opinions, and therefore, sofi brachas lahokan, and better, ain lokach ain no reach. And even if you do smell it, ain mavarech olof.